Good afternoon. My name is Jamie Medina, President and CEO of Fixed Inc. Fixed is a veteran service organization located in Tracy, California. And uh, this briefing that we're about to do today is uh, to address the veteran homelessness issue that is systemic and everywhere. Uh, we're, gonna, we're thinking about doing the tiny homes and uh, calling it the Sergeant Albert L. Walter Veteran Village. And the Veteran Village will be located uh, at 550 North Corral Hollow Road in Tracy, California, 95376. Uh, a little bit, a little bit about fixed. Uh, fixed serves the men and women who volunteer to serve us, our veterans. We provide accredited life coaching, counseling, peer support services, and a, a wider array of uh, mental health support services. Uh, typically, what we see and what we address are issues dealing with PTSD, self-medication, anger management, isolation, survivor's guilt, and the problematic thinking, which uh, all too common leads our veterans uh, to suicide. Currently, we have three programs, our Get Fixed program, which is a customized plan developed uh, by you and your counselor, um, and there our Veteran Treatment Court uh, program, which we provide mentors and peer support specialists to vets that are working through the justice system. Our third program is our Fixed Line. Uh, we have an immediate crisis line, uh, which working through Facebook and our network of veterans throughout the, the country uh, for any veterans who happen to be in crisis and in need. So we're calling it the uh, Sergeant Al Albert uh, Silky Walter uh, Veteran Village uh, after Sergeant Walter, uh, who was born and raised in Tracy, California. He's a 1938 graduate of Tracy High School. He's a bulldog <laughs> and enlisted in the Army Air Corps uh, that was attached to General Patton's Third Army. Silky uh, hit the beaches of Normandy. He also fought in the Ardennes in the Battle of the Bulge, uh, America's largest ground, ground, ground battle to date. Uh, and then he moved back following the surrender of the Nazis in 1945. Uh, Sergeant Walter moved back to Tracy, where he lived out the rest of his life, uh, married Barbara Blinko, and raised a family uh, while working at the at DVI, the Dual Vocational Institute, uh, Depart Department of Prisons uh, on the outskirts of Tracy. Retired after 30 years, and um, Sergeant Walter passed away on July 12, uh, 2012, uh, to rejoin his his buddies, or his boys as he used to call it, of the 354th Fighter Squadron. The problem, and it's a big problem. Uh, at any given time, there are approximately 10,000, let's call it 11,000 homeless veterans uh, on the streets of California, according to Department of Housing and Urban Development. Locally, uh, here within the San Joaquin County, uh, there could be anywhere between 100, 100 and 150 homeless veterans. As Winston Churchill so elo eloquently put it, uh, never in the field of human conflict was so much owed by so many to so few. More than one in 10 homeless adults were veterans, according uh, to the polls in 2015. Uh, the 50 largest cities accounted for 44% of the nation's homeless veteran population. Women actually make up 9% of homeless veterans. Fixed. We believe that housing our nation's veterans is not only a moral imperative, it's also an economic one. As stated, any given night, approximately 100 to 150 veterans are sleeping in the streets. It's currently December 21st, very cold outside within the, within the San Joaquin Valley. The cost to treat homeless veterans uh, at, at any emergency room, uh, what typically can become an even longer hospital stay, uh, or the cost to arrest a veteran process them, jail them for one night, a week even, possibly even longer. Uh, think of, or think about the cost uh, that it costs to provide uh, the housing and support services. Well, what we want to do is we want to set up a veteran village, uh, a transitional housing uh, unit with approximately 10 to 15 houses, um, and ultimately help veterans get back on their feet, which will uh, get our warfighters uh, to have an independent, productive life, and move on. Um, so I mentioned earlier about the hospital stay, so it, it can cost upward of $4,000 per veteran per hospital stay. And uh, here in our San Joaquin Jail, uh, it can cost $138 per veteran per day. Uh, compared to our plan with the Veteran Village of $14 uh, per veteran per day at the Albert Walter uh, Veteran Village. So as you can see, uh, already right off the bat, we're saving um, emergency services, uh, support services and, and and lifting the burden um, that that the 
systemic veteran homelessness uh, population puts on our on all social services where are we going to put it well we're going to put it in tracy california uh you look at the above picture there's a uh, tracy oriented to the north and as you work west uh outwards you can see a large yellow arrow <laughs> with the address of 550 north corral hollow road on it so it's right pink right there and your lower left hand uh, sketch is what we envision uh our veteran village will look like and then your lower right hand uh, micro picture is a picture of the area right now so you have a front house um, facing west uh, along the north south running Crow Hollow Road and in back you can see there's about a good acre and a half of land back there completely empty here's a micro a macro view of that location as you can see Cypress to the north and the west uh, Crow Hollow running north south and this is the 550 uh, North Crow Hollow Road address and this is a more of a blown up picture you can see how much room is back there I mean gosh we, we believe we could put between 10 and 15 of the uh, tiny homes back there and what we envision it will look like here's an overhead uh perfect world idea is um as you as you come down to the side of the house which is big enough to run a semi through so we've already got the, the road back there just have to pave it so as you come in um from the north south running crow hollow road from west work east along the property line uh and then we we, we set up a, a parking lot area uh for visitors family and uh and mental health professionals or, or any type of uh, healthcare professionals um you could literally take a fire truck back there and do donuts with it there's so much room so as you're looking at the the parking lot area uh we'll go ahead and work your eyes east uh, in, into the area we envision you know set up a park park area uh picnic tables gazebo barbecue and uh look at maybe 12 12 housing units uh we're hoping to put with the with the centerpiece uh, center focal point being a <clears throat> being being a, a mount a, a plaque mount and a, and a um uh, what do you call it monument uh, uh to, to sergeant albert uh, l walter uh, stating uh, who he was what he did and um like i said and, and have old glory uh, over there hanging uh, fly, flying high no matter the rain or shine uh, as you can see this area is definitely you could do a lot with it uh, and we could absolutely get this going I, I believe I anticipate we could probably have this up and running uh, by this time next year should we move on it uh, in in January of 2020 how are we going to fund it well there's the million dollar question isn't it so our first source of uh, funding we're looking at the at currently right now um, CalVet along with the Department of Housing and Community Development uh, put out a grant uh, on November 8th 2019 um, and and this grant is for construction uh, pre post construction as, as well as follow-on services uh, to be provided for for the veterans after you house them um, so we're, that's our source one uh, and the due date for that that grant is February 13th 2020 source two uh, fundraisers uh, individual corporate and 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 sponsorship donations um, we want to do this anyway though uh, fix we're, we're gonna we're, our plan is to apply for the grant and have the massive fundraisers um as well as talk we talked to the the property owners because uh, they're the ones don donating uh 550 north corral hollow road they said they would even um consider taking out a heloc or a um, money line of credit equity line of credit uh, against the home the home is completely paid off uh, property's paid in full community endorsements that we already current that we already have right now is uh susan eggman uh california 13th district assemblywoman who's about to be our senator <laughs> after the election uh, the san joaquin county veteran service officer virginia wimmer she's a big supporter of us uh, san joaquin county fifth district supervisor supervisor bob elliott who's running for uh, the 10th district uh, congress uh, san joaquin county uh, veteran advisory commission supports this our local vfw post 1537 uh, is a big supporter of fixed as well as uh, the city of tracy's uh, tracy city council what about zoning the big question as well not the million dollar question but maybe the beginning question uh so the city of tracy ordinance codes um according to article 7 with the low density residential zone that, that's what 550 north Crow Hollow road falls into it falls in it used to be county but was annexed by the city a few years back and and is zoned as low density residential and so the permitted uses for that according to article 7 uh, 10 decimal 08 decimal 1200 the permitted uses if you go on to the left side of or correction the right side of the page you can see um 
we're looking at classifying this as convalescent uh, rest and nursing home board and or care facility here's a uh, another look at the map looking at the zoning so once again here's our big red arrow that points to that <laughs> uh east west uh, running property line uh, that little that little triangle there run, that runs uh, north south uh, along the north south running road of crow hollow um that's what we're thinking of putting it and, and it's like i said it's well within the ldr zoning uh, map zoning range <clears throat> so we could fall it falls under the rest and nursing home board and or care facility So fixed being the veteran service organization uh, provider that's going to be providing services 24/7 uh, for this, and, and once again a little bit of fixed we provide you know the, the counseling and mental health for veteran treatment courts. We do a lot of crisis interventions, uh, suicide intervention. Uh, we work on immediate needs. Uh, we have a, a vast array of peer support counselors and mental health uh, professionals that are, that are ready to answer answer the call. So what we envision for the, for the day to day at uh, the Albert L. Walter. Um, veteran village is that clients may participate in a, in a in a schedule facilitated by fixed and our, and our peer support counselors uh, beginning at 07 every day and ending at 1700 so that's 7 a.m to 5 for <laughs> everybody else um what we want to do is build upon like a regimented uh daily routines and and what that's actually called is creator therapy it was developed by dr harriet Ziner. she's a uh, veterans affairs she's out of palo alto she's a veterans affairs uh teaching uh teaching doctor and uh, her, her behavioral change model is just beautiful. I personally went through that uh, about six, seven, six and a half years ago uh, when I had difficulties transitioning back to, uh, back to civilian life after six combat deployments. Um, and, and during that day, uh, we, we expect to have uh, you know, you know, time for exercise, um, our partnership with Flow Yoga here in Tracy, California, with them to come in three times a week. Um, and then as well as uh, provide computer labs, education resources, job skills training, mock interviews on site at that location, the 550 North Crow Hollow Road. And of course, veterans, uh, we're going to highly encourage them to participate in all that, the group sessions, uh, the milieu. That's going to be a community, a transitional community uh, based program uh, where where community leadership uh, throughout the village uh, will will um, will we'll foster in that that motivation and, and accountability. This is the model that FIX uses uh, in, in reference to the veteran treatment courts. We determined that when veterans uh, transition out of the military or or, or veterans who've been out you know for a long t long period of time and, and find themselves isolating, uh, when they leave the military they they, they leave their units you, you know their, their unit, their flight, their platoon you know and that lack of peer support can re really weigh on you. Um, like once again, like I said, it weighed on me. I almost had like an identity crisis. What now? I was always wondering what now, you know, and that lack of purpose and structure that the military gives you um, ultimately uh, could lead to depression, mental health issues and substance abuse and ultimately suicide, which we do not want to happen. Or, or, or they found themselves getting in trouble uh, landing in the veteran treatment courts, you know. And what we do is we we have a veteran centric tailor uh, tailored support service all right so so you can see the center of the page your veteran and the little arrows that point or point around so we, we set them up with a counselor uh we we provide peer mentoring um va services as well we're aligned with the va uh flexible classes and flexible times to meet with, with counselors and and groups uh, which the VA does not offer, which no one offers but us. And then uh, accountability to the VTC. At this time, we have 100%, we have a 100% graduate rate uh, with the San Joaquin County uh, Veteran Treatment Court uh, with zero recidivism. Uh, and go ahead and follow our arrow to the east. And what, what our program does is it reduces isolation. Uh, it gets them back into the community. Um, and 90% of the time, program graduates want to, want to then serve have a, that purpose they feel a mission again a duty and responsibility to become peer support mentors to the next uh, group of individuals who need those mentors going through veteran treatment court and uh, at that point they can either return to service become a, a peer support mentor um, or, or just press on with their life and uh, be an active productive member of society now i know that was a lot of information <laughs> to, to, to shove down your shove down your throat and into your brain but just take a moment and just imagine for one second that it's over, that veteran homelessness in the San Joaquin County has ended. You did it. We did it. It was the help of everyone uh, who's going to help on this project did it, uh, facilitated by FIXED.
So this is just, a, like I said, in a perfect world. This, these are actually the, the tiny village or the veteran homes in um, Sonoma County. So based off their model, uh, it can easily fixed at, can easily fit at the 550 North Crawl Hollow Road location. Um, and we believe we can get this up and running in 365 days. Thank you for your time. This is Jamie Medina from Fixed, out.